Greetings! Hi guys! Another hamster food review! This is the Twitch from WAG. Rodent, small rodent, uh, is that say small? Yeah, small rodent uh, food. So it used to say hamster and gerbil, if you remember, years ago. So, I've not had this for about five years because I got this when I first got Kizzy. And I didn't like it at the time, but apparently it looks like it's changed. So, yeah, we'll have a look at this. It's one kilogram. So I'll go through the, before I uh, take you into the other room and show you everything about it. I'll go through the composition. So here we go. Protein, 16.5%. So 16.5 is a... Uh, it's gone up a bit because I think it used to be a bit lower than that. I might be wrong, but it's not too bad. Seen worse. <laughs> Fat, 8.5%. So again, that's... Uh, I'd say that's... It's not terrible, but I'd say it's about average. Fibre, 7.5%. Now, again, that's not too bad. I've seen worse, but we've also seen better. So I'd say by the composition, it's not too bad this time. Definitely not too bad. But the question is, when I open it, because <laughs> I'll always remember the smell when I opened the original one years ago. I'm just hoping it's improved. <laughs> so, guys, sorry, I'm, sh I'm shaking the camera here because I can't keep holding it. There we go. So guys, I'm going to go in the other room now, and then we're going to uh, have a look at it. So I'll see you in a tick. Greetings, guys. Right, so here we go again. And I've just opened the bag, and I'm pre pleasantly surprised. I'll put my teeth in proper. Titty. Right. I'll sniff again. Yeah, it smells lovely. There's nothing in it. No smell. Well, there you go. Now that looks totally different to what I remember five years ago. Now, I'm quite excited about this. I know it's usually the lower end of the... Um, the um, I'm just a food mixes, but... Let's get this bad boy into, the, uh, into this tub and get it sorted. Right, guys. Now, I, am, I must admit, I am very, very, very impressed... I don't know why, but I am very, very impressed. Because this looked nothing like this five years ago. It were mainly peanuts and stuff like that. It wasn't good at all and the smell was really bad. So, I just, I don't know, I'm stumped. I'm sorry guys, I'm just, I'm going to have to get my thoughts together because I had everything planned what to say. And now, it's thrown me a bit. <laughs> Right, let's get a spoonful out, shall we? <coughs> so we'll see what it's got in here. Get a few of the big in, bigger nuggets out and then a few of the small bits inside. Oh, it's really, really, really nice. And, the, and the, I've noticed straight away, straight away, there's not as many seeds in. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but because they do need some seeds, but you can always substitute it with your own sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, lid seeds. So I think they've gone more down like a, a variety of coloured, um, <clears throat> like more nuggets, nuggets and stuff. And still got corn, but I think, <laughs> I think there's no getting away from that. It's got some nice peanuts in. Um, just try to see if they've got any fit. Just try to see if they've got any seeds in here. Let's have a see. Ah, oh, it's got oats, stuff like that. <clears throat> now, I think this would be pretty okay. Um, definitely okay for a. Uh, an add-on mix as a second mix or whatever, or if you're doing a, a generic mix of your own. 
which I might consider this as a as a um, adding into the the diet for George. Actually, he might enjoy this. <clears throat> it won't go to waste anyway. But because um, obviously, because it's because on, on the packet, it's not just specifically for hamsters. You do have to be a bit careful. Yeah, there you go. Small rodent for hamsters, gerbils, and mice. 16.5% protein, well, I'll give you that before, didn't I? Yeah, I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'd definitely, definitely use it as a, a second mix, or if you can't find, especially in these times, if you can't find any other mix, then obviously it does well then. It's okay if you're putting it in a gym, yeah, your own mix. Um, it's okay if it's if you um, if it's for a bit of an older hamster because the proteins look a bit lower. So I think it's perfect for that. <coughs> now I'm not sure about dwarfs though. Obviously, they can still eat it, but it's whether they would or not. Because some dwarfs, especially Russians. They're just too lazy to eat big bits. <laughs> That's why I take all the big uh, bits out of the Harry Hamster. <laughs> uh, for for um, Arabella and Archie. So let's have another see of this because I've got, I think I've got quite a good mix here. <clears throat> have a smell. Yeah, there's no smell. No, no overpowering smell. So I might put a little bit of scoop. Well, I will put a scoop in here for George later. See what he thinks. He'll probably numb that straight away. The only thing I do have a bit of a gripe with, just let me see what they are, is there's still a bit too many peas and too many corn in there. But that's quite easy to remedy. You can just take that out. But, yeah, it's... Uh, it's not too bad. I'll tell you what it does remind me of. Do you remember the Aston Muesli one I did? <clears throat> Which, as you know, I <laughs> going back quite a few years now, guys, because I've been doing these for years. And um, at the time, I was really, really impressed with it. I've not got it since. I've not bought it since. But I remember um, Matilda, she liked it. And... Uh, Rizabi, well, he left the chunky bits. <laughs> <clears throat> but um, all these foods give me great ideas to make my very own mix, which I'm still working on, guys. I'm still working on because it's not just finding the mixes to put together. I'm also working out the composi composition of each mix that I do. So <clears throat> my aim is to do a separate one, one for Serians and one for Dwarfs, but... Just taking me a little bit of time so to work out my own mix but and I know a lot of you guys like my treat mix that I did a couple of years ago um, which I'm really pleased about because with that one you can uh, adapt it to your own needs so that's good so as you can see now they're all coming to the top now now you can see that there is quite a few bits of uh, corn in but you could take all the corn pieces out and the peas, put them in a separate tub and just use them as a little treat when you want. I know quite a few Ami owners do that. Nothing wrong with that, that's perfect. It's just a <clears throat> nice little treat for them. And uh, got peanuts in there, quite big peanuts as well. Just trying to see if there's still any more. Because I've noticed they've not got any, or if any at all. Smaller bits in here, like linseeds, and uh, there's absolutely no pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds. Oh, is that one? Or is that a nugget? Let's have a look. It's hard to see through the camera. I think there might be an odd one or two in there. Well, there will be because it's got it on the ingredients list. I think it's the black ones. The black stripe. Ah, oh, there you go. Hold on, what's that one? No, that's a log. 
but it does have it in the ingredients before because uh, it said sunflower seeds but there's very minimum but i always get a box of my own so i just add a few in each day so if you did uh feed them this and you want to give them a few sunflower seeds then they're quite easy to buy you can get them from wilkinson's and all sorts of places but uh what's that don't worry, I've got clean hands, guys. Oh, it is a pumpkin seed. It is a sunflower seed. There you go, guys. <clears throat> yeah, it's... it's, it's uh, when I say impressed, I wouldn't say... I'm impressed where, oh, he's bowled me over. and Oh, I've got to feed on this from now on. But I am impressed from a previous version of it when, I, when I'd uh, got it years ago. So you can see that they have improved. Because <clears throat> they removed they removed the smell and everything, and uh, which is really really good. So guys, I'm getting it everywhere here. So we're going to get look how many oh look how many peanuts are in this. There, there used to be a lot more than that in here, but it's still nice and big and chunky. I'm going to try George with some of this uh, later on. So I'll put a scoop in there. There you go, guys. Ah, oh, yeah, there is some tiny seeds in there. I can't tell what they really are. But, um, yeah, there is some seeds in there. And there's quite a few nuggets. Now, it looks like they're not as... Uh, Got as many colorants in as, as some mixes, so um, doesn't really say. Let's hold on, guys. I'll just go and um, just go and check what the ingredients say. Hold on, ah, right, guys. Sorry about that. The uh, just had a, um, a delivery from Amazon, so. <laughs> Yeah, so the, it's got colourants in it. It's definitely got colourants in it. But I suppose we can't get away from that unless we're really going organic. And uh, vegetable oil, yeah, apple. It's just got your basic maize, corn, peas, grass. Oh, grass seed. Grass seed, yeah. So just your basic uh, <coughs> mix. So, I think that's pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool. So, I'll put some of this in uh, George's bowl after. And we'll see what he thinks of it. And uh, I'll take it from there. Now, I'll put, I'll put a lid on this and I'll keep this because I, I never waste it. And the only ones I do waste... Well, I don't waste, actually. The only ones I do... Um, do not give to the hamsters that in the past is like I said is um the ones that are really really bad. Uh, I just uh, give give outside to the birds, so <clears throat> it still doesn't go to waste anyway. But the good mixes, I do uh use it up. I just put a bit into the bowls and uh, <clears throat> give them a bit more variety while it's uh why I have it. So that's that done. So guys, um. I think that's it for the wag twitch. I think we've gone through everything there. And I got this from um, Asda because I know everybody wanted to, to do a review. And I know I said I weren't going to do it a few, a few years ago. I said I weren't going to do a review on it because it was that awful. But I've had quite a few requests. And I thought, well, they've changed the packaging now. And it does look like it's... Uh, they have improved especially with the protein so i thought well there's no point leaving it out because i said i want to do every, um, as many foods as i can see and find so yeah so i've done this one for you guys now the next one that i'll be doing hopefully <clears throat> if i don't see another one before then is uh, when all this uh isolation things over with all this lockdown i want to get the uh roddy pet serian because i've done the dwarfs so i'm going to get that 
do with you on that. It'll probably be the same or very similar to the dwarf one, but can't leave it out now, can we? So we'll be doing that one. And uh, <clears throat> I'll also probably be revisiting um, some of the old ones that I've got new packaging on, like the Asda one um, and some of the others. I'll try and do some of them again. If, if any of that needs updating, like the Pets at Home one needs updating and Asda, not sure about Tesco. So I'll, I'll go vi revisit them because I've had a few requests asking to revisit anything that's improved or changed. Also, I'll be doing jollies as well because jollies do their own mix, by the way, because I think I told you I went about two weeks ago and um, just seeing, I'm going to scoot around seeing what, I don't go that, it was very, I've not been for about three years because my favourite is Pets at Home. It's right near me. <clears throat> But with Jollies, I got offered a lift down there. And it's quite a, a, a ride out. <laughs> so, and they had um, their own Jollies hamster mixing and gerbil mix. Uh, separate, obviously, not together. It's just, they have their own, they have a gerbil mix and the hamster mix. And it basically looked very, very similar to Pets at Home. And I forgot to pick the bag up when I were there. <laughs> Because I was quite psycho, I wanted to go into the range, which were next door. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. So, I'll be going back there again. Um, and I'll be picking up a bag of that, jo the um, Jolly's Amster food. And we'll have a look at that, shall we? And see what that's like. And uh, whilst well, I'm down there, but it won't be for a little while yet. <clears throat> and... Uh, and that's it. So I hope you like this, guys. And um, stay safe. <laughs>